Good morning, everybody. I'm Miss Kate, and welcome to Baby Rhyme Time. Uh, this is a program where you and your child, or the child that you're looking after, can spend some quality time together. We do rhymes and songs. We play with some props. Um, if you came by the library and got a little Baby Rhyme Time kit, you'll have some of those props in there. Otherwise, you can find things around your home. Um, and you can always pick them up still if you want to between 11 and 4, Tuesday through Saturday. You'll just drive up and give us a call and ask for one. Um, and this is just a good program to help these kiddos uh, learn some literacy skills, um, helps them with rhythm, and just uh, development of fine motor skills and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Usually I do every rhyme twice, but for this video I'm just going to go through them once. Um, you can pause it as you need to or go back if you need to learn the rhymes. So we're going to start with Old Mother Goose. Um, this is my baby, since I don't have one, so this is a good way to sit while you're doing Mother Goose on the Loose. It's just cross-legged, you can be somewhere comfortable, not necessarily the floor like I am. Um, so we're going to do Old Mother Goose. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. And now we're going to say good morning. And this is a good friend during these programs, Mrs. Perky Bird. Um, if you don't have a puppet, you can just use your hand. This can be Mrs. Perky Bird, or this can, or you can find a stuffed animal. Like I said, you can use things around the house. So we're going to sing good morning to Mrs. Perky Bird. We'll say good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying through the air, the air, the air, the air, the air, the air. I'm flying through the air, the air, and down to the ground. There you go. And when you use puppets and stuffed animals, it's fun to interact with your kid with them. Um, they find it fun. So we'll take that off. And we're going to use some more puppets. And I have some farm animal puppets here. Um, in your kids, you should have a puppet. It's not necessarily farm animal puppets. Uh, they don't necessarily make a traditional noise. Um, you can make things up or use stuffed animals. I'm sure you probably have some stuffed animals lying around somewhere. So we're going to sing good morning to all the animals. So this is our little horse. We'll say, when the horse gets up in the morning, he always says, nay. When the horse gets up in the morning, he always says, nay, nay. So we'll say, bye, Mr. Horse. And here we have a dog puppet. This is our dog, and we'll find out what the dog says. So when the dog gets up in the morning, he always says, woof. When the dog gets up in the morning, he always says, woof, 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 woof. And you can do that with a few different animals. You can use cows, ducks, cats, whatever you have. Uh, like I said, just be creative with it. And now we're going to use our bells. So if you have a kit, you should have some bells in there. And this is what they look like. These are good for kiddos because they can grab the stick really easily to use it to move it around. Um, and using props when you sing is really good for rhythm development and just a good emotional outlet for singing. So we're going to ring our bells. And this is to the tune of Jingle Bells, but it's not Jingle Bells. So we're going to do... Ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is your it is to ring to ring your bells today. Hey, ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is to ring to ring your bells today. And then we'll say, and then you ring them up high, and you ring them down low. And you ring them in the middle, just like that. And if your kiddo is too small, you can hold it for them and just ring it around them like I did. Or you can place it in their hand and kind of wrap their hand around it and move their arm. Or just let them go nuts with it. That works too. And now we're going to use our shaker eggs. So these are our shaker eggs. And we're going to say... Can you shake your egg with me? Shake your egg along with me. It's as easy as can be. Now shake it on your knee. And then you shake it on your knee. And then you can shake it on your nose, or your toes, or your belly. You can shake it anywhere. 
Princessor Shake song, or one of them. Oh, we're gonna do another one. Everyone can shake, 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 shake. Everyone can shake, 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 and now let's make a stop. And no stop. And this is a good one because it doesn't necessarily have to be used with a shaker. You can also use just clapping. So you say, everyone can clap, 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 clap. Everyone can clap, 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 and then you make a stop. And you stop. That's a good way to teach the word stop to kids without it being a uh, negative. So instead of always saying stop when they're doing something bad, it's just a way to say stop and show them what stop means without them feeling like they're in trouble. Uh, now we're gonna do a classic. We're gonna do wheels on the bus. So for this one, you can manipulate their arms again. You can do it in front of them or you can just let them try it out on their own. You can show them how to do it. So we're gonna do the wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. And then you can go with the other verses, of course. You can do the doors go open and shut, or the wipers go swish, swish, swish. Uh, there's a lot of verses. So now we're gonna do some bouncing rhymes. And for this one, you're gonna need to place your, ch uh, your child on your knee. And you just wanna get in a position where you can bounce your knee with them on it. Just a little bit, not too crazy. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Baby's on my knee. Rooster crows and up she goes. And you'll bring her back down. And you'll say one, two, three. Baby's on my knee. Rooster crows and down she goes. And then we'll do one more and we'll say one, two, three. Baby's on my knee, rooster crows, and over she goes. Now we're going to do another one. So this is the way the ladies ride. So I'll say, this is the way the ladies ride. Nim, nim, nim. This is the way the gentlemen ride. Trim, trim, trim. This is the way the farmers ride. Trot, trot, trot. And this is the way the cowboys ride. Gallop, 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 gallop. Just like that. We're going to do another one. We'll say, I'm bouncing, bouncing everywhere. I'm bouncing, bouncing in the air. I'm bouncing, bouncing everywhere. I bounce and bounce and then I fall. And you'll just lean them over a little bit before writing them again. So this is, a bee is on my toe. So we're gonna make a bee with our finger just like this. This will be a little bee. And we're gonna say bzzz. And then we're gonna land the bee on the toe. We'll say, oh, where's my bee? Is it on my toe? Do we want a bee on our toe? No. So we're gonna sing and blow the bee away. Right, we're gonna say, a bee is on my toe. A bee is on my toe. Hi ho, just watch me go, just watch me blow, a bee is on my toe. And then we're gonna blow the bee. And the bee will buzz, bzz, and land somewhere else, like on your nose, or on your tummy, or your arm, and you just keep going, and you'll keep blowing that bee away until he's gone. Uh, and now we're gonna do bubble, bubble pop. So this is a little fish one. So this will be our little fish. And you can make your child's hands into a fish. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And then you'll just pop it above the head. And then you can do that with different colored fish too. You can do a blue fish, a yellow fish, a green fish, so many fish. So now we're gonna use our scarf. And this is a really good one. You can use, it doesn't have to be a little scarf like this. It can be a blanket, a towel, whatever you have lying around. And we're gonna sing Mr. Sun with it. And this is a good peekaboo song for your kid. So you can face them, have them face you. That might work out better. I'm not gonna do that because that would be kind of awkward, but that will probably work better. So we're just gonna have our scarf and you can give it to them or you can wave it in front of them or with them. We'll say, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, 
hiding behind a tree. And at this point, you're going to hide. And we'll say, all the children are asking you to please come out and say, peekaboo. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. And that's just a good peekaboo song. You can do that a bunch of times with them. Okay, so we'll put that away. And we're gonna do two little dicky birds. So these are gonna be our little birds here, or this. And we're gonna say, two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One name soft, and the other name loud. I say, fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Come back loud. It's a good way to teach opposites. And you can do that with uh, different ones. You can do high and low. You can do fast and slow, uh, anything like that. All right, and then we're gonna do our last song. And this is, can you kick with two feet? So for this one, you can use your kid's legs and kick them, or you can let them go for it. They'll probably have fun with that. I'll say, can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. And do, can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Clap, 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 clap. Uh, can you wave bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye? Can you wave bye-bye, 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 bye? We're so happy, we're so happy, we're so happy that everyone is here. And that's the end of this week's my Baby Rhyme Time. So I hope to see you next week. Bye.